And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our first meme tier deck of the week. It's donation deck week. We're going to be playing a lot of donation decks uh, for uh, just basically all week. Some of them for ranked, some of them for normal with our meme tier decks. That's what we're going to have for our next two videos. This one's going to be Iceborne Sharks because we're going to be combining Shark Chariot with Iceborne Legacy grants an ally and all allied copies of it everywhere plus two plus two. So we're going to try to turn these three one sharks into five three sharks. That's going to be our goal. And so every time we attack with ephemerals, we're bringing back hopefully multiple five three ephemeral sharks. That's what we're going to be doing. So we have a lot of we have lots and lots of uh, combos in here. Our champions are going to be Viego and Hecarim. Viego wants to see 20 plus total power die. If we have multiple five plus power sharks, that's going to level up Viego super fast, especially, you know, then whenever they die, they put in the encroaching mist also. So, you know, we're going to have that to be able to level up Hecarim. Or, so sorry, Viego. We'll be leveling up Hecarim, of course, by just attacking with our ephemeral allies and like a Hecarim attack. Um, you know, that's going to put in a whole bunch of powerful ephemerals that will level up Viego. Uh, we're also going to have uh, we're gonna have a Chronicler of Ruins in here, which are great with Viego for killing stuff. But then they're also awesome with Shark Chariot because if we spend two mana to cast a Shark Chariot, then we can Chronicler of Ruin the Shark Chariot, which will make a new one. And so when it attacks, it'll bring back the first one. So we can you know basically double up our Shark Chariots with Chronicler of Ruin. We'll have that combo. We need to make sure we stay alive. So we got Dark Water Scourge with the Life Steal. We'll have the Dark Water Scourge with Mask Mother. That's a nice, uh, you know, combo there that we can find different pieces with Stalking Shadows. We'll also have Mask Mother be able to eat any ephemeral thing if we make something ephemeral with like Oblivious Islander, um, or if we get the ephemeral copy with Stalking Shadows of something else. We can eat those with Mask Mother, or we can reset them with Chronicler of Ruin. We're gonna have a lot of cool things that we can do in here, but like these encroaching mists that we're making that Viego makes, you know, your, your Camivoran Soldier, like those are going to be able to attack and bring the Shark Chariots into play. So we're going to have different ephemerals like that. Just a lot of cool stuff. So let's get to it. Let's see how the deck plays. We're going to uh, head on over to Normal because it's Meme Tier deck. Uh, and we're going to see if we can actually get this Iceborne Legacy onto a Shark. We'll see if we can actually pull that combo off. Sure hope so. Okay, we're going to send the pier Piercing Darkness back, but I like the rest of this. We shall keep it. This will help us dig for the other half of our Mask Mother combo, or we just have it right there. Because eh? I think that this Mask Mother, you know, Dark Water Scourge Mask Mother combo should be pretty good against Action Siver. Get in a good 7 7. Life steal. That should be nice. And looks like we're gonna be able to pull that off round. Next round, round three. Seven, seven, seven. Life steal. Oh, I'm sorry, shark. You can come back later, shark. Plus fearsome. Oh, come now. Okay, I'm fine with that. Just got a frostbite card out of their hand. That's no big deal. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. We're gonna save this shark for now. Huh. I'm gonna skip. I don't know what game they're playing at here, but we can be at 14 because we'll go right back to 20. I do this for her. For us. Come on, lover boy. Time to put you to bed. Crack skulls, bag loot. Blah, blah. She gets it. Find the beginning. 
Your funeral. Okay. That was our three mana card. We'll take that. That's a lot of power for Viego. Dying. It's definitely very good for our Viego. Do I, want, do I want to block with both or just one? Probably both. I kind of want to just get these two ones out of here. And again, I want stuff to die. That's cool. Ooh, Howling Abyss. Fixing the world one scoundrel at a time. So Viego's at 14. Towards leveling up. Don't touch it. Listen to me. This will be a leveled up Viego. Kinda no matter what. And I'm kind of just keeping Rekindler just in case. Vi stands for violence. All right, doesn't look like we need Rekindler. We'll just get one of you in here. Still waiting to draw that Iceborne Legacy so I can play Shark Chariot and Iceborne Legacy it. I don't want to risk Viego dying before he leveled up. Even though we have Rekindler, I don't want to really risk that. We'll just kill the Vi. Stab. Yep. That will do. Alright, so it turns out 7-7 seven, seven lifesteal... Pretty good, pretty good at helping you set up your Viego. Not bad. From an attack. Ooh, so rock a Tom Kench. How are we killing a Tom Kench? Ruination, I guess. I think we're gonna send this Islander back. Yeah, I didn't didn't get to do any shark things. We did have the A shark, but we didn't have a legacy. Escapes my watch. For the homestead. Mm. No crumble in here. In Avarosa's name. I don't know if I want to play that card. I'm sure there's something for my tastes. Osu can sniff out any star anywhere. These old eyes still see far and clear. Plenty of room inside. So it's about Bastion. They can have Bastion to stop ruination. So what's in store for me, Neymar? I need time for commune, Tom. Or they could just have a second Tom Kench. Either one of those is pretty terrible for me. Where there's a will, there's a meal. I guess we try to get them to commit more. It's too late now. Death begins your forever fable. 
I'm guessing that's another Tom Kench that they're gonna eat their own like Star Shepherd. Level up Tom Kench. Don't require menu. Yep. So I'm glad we got Tom Crunch out of their hand, like the second Tom Crunch out of their hand. Come along. There's room for Some cards like this just win the game. There are some cards that do. Appetizers of plenty. Start the story. Another nibble. Never. So what's in store for me, Nima? I need time for I have a million cards in hand. Yeah, I mean this game's over. Between between Star Spring and Tom Kench, we can't We just can't do anything. They had the hand, they had they had those two cards and a good hand with them. Really all you need was just those two cards. We just lose them like a yeah. We lose to everything. So that's the, that's the thing about Tom Kench is that Tom Kench will just make everything in your deck irrelevant, basically, <laughs> and it makes everything just seem terrible because everything's irrelevant. All right, we can try Shark Chariot plus Iceborne Legacy. That's going to be the goal. We're gonna see if we can pull it off. Fresh catch. Well, it was fresh. We got our six mana combo. Okay, so we need a, how much how much mana are we gonna need here? So this is six mana total. I want to have like eight mana, so we could do this also. We have seven right now. That's one vile feast gone. I guess we try it now. All right, so let's go and try it. That didn't go so well. But that's why it's a meme tier deck, right? Like this this is why we're not like it's not a competitive combo. That's why it's a meme tier deck. Yeah, unfortunately, they did not let us have any fun. This is a good hand for them.
Good hand for them, I guess. GG's. But we just had nothing. Just had nothing to do that whole time. Yeah, that was the thing. We kind of had to go for it because our... Because we had nothing to do. Our hand was just... Just bricked so bad. Mm. Normally we would keep both of these. Maybe we keep Mass Mother still. Uh, I don't want to like draw lots of cards against Teemo Caitlyn. Which is kind of the problem with Stalking Shadows. But I like two mana cards. We can, of course, you know, we definitely want the other part of our combo, though, for Mass Mother. Getting some lifesteal against Teemo Caitlyn could be really nice. Maybe we should have sent the sentry back and kept stalking shadows. So I'm representing spells with this spell mana. If I attack, they use a Freljord spell. You know, they could block with Peddler, use a Freljord spell, save it. Um, I can just do the same thing, kind of blocking, though, instead of attacking. Oh, I guess I should do this after Flash Bombs, shouldn't I? Maybe I should. In. All right, kill the Caitlyn. Have a mushroom. Have now they have a bunch of puffcat peddlers, but at least we killed Caitlyn. Not the lifesteal thing. I wonder if I should use the other Mask Mother, though. Have a couple of 5-5 five, five fearsomes. No. I do this for her. For us. There's a lot of mana they waste. I can, you know, eat my other Mask Mother... Then we have a 7-6, but then, you know, like, that's 5 power dying, plus we'd get another 4-4, four, four, so it'd be 9 power dying. It's better if we don't attack. Because we attack, like, they obviously are going to be using, you know, like, spells and stuff to, to help protect them, and then I get a whole bunch of those things, a whole bunch of... Puff caps. I don't want to get a whole bunch of puff caps. Observe 
Alright, not the worst thing. I don't think I'm going to be able to Iceborne Legacy the Shark Chariots, but we can get a lot of Shark Chariots. You dropped something. I dropped everything! I definitely would have rather discarded Hecarim than, the, than that thing that healed my Nexus. Oh, so my plan was definitely to Chronicler ruin that, but... Now, I keep on killing my sharks. These flash bombs. Okay, so that's five mana right there. So that means I have four other. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't. Shark plus. Shark plus Chronicler also. Man, yeah, maybe I just attacked because attacking puts those sharks into play. No. We do this. Alright, so if I pass, then let's see, steal the strongest enemy this round, so then we'll just like steal like a 3 2. Yeah, we're gonna attack. Let's talk this out. I have to get them to start using their all their spells, but then again, once the more spells they use, the more. Puff caps I get, so the faster I die. So we're in like kind of like that kind of tough spot. We're gonna try. We're gonna, we're gonna see if we can Iceborne Legacy these sharks. All right, they surrender. We didn't get to try. We didn't get to do it. But I was gonna try to Iceborne Legacy the sharks there. I was gonna try. I will take back what is mine. All of it. All right, two and two. Oh, a burn deck. Well, we got some good. Oh, yeah, the seven seven life steal is actually probably gonna be great in this matchup. Yeah, we really need to find that card. We need that combo. There it is. There it is. Sure is dark, eh? So we can do this round four. Now we got round three. I think I'm gonna attack right now because of make it rain, but then there's also like stone stackers. Let's just get this attack in and
Man, this is looking like just like game number one. Hmm. I mean, I don't necessarily have to do it immediately, I guess. Fearsome, they can't block it. I want to get this powder keg out of here before, like, Twisted Fate, red card. Something like that. Alright, so it does two. Huh. I'm surprised they did it to the Nexus. I guess, unless their plans like Twisted Fate red card, these are going to die anyway. I guess that's their, probably their plan. Alright, so... If I Chronicler of Ruin, does this come back as a 7-7? Seven, seven? Does anybody know? Yeah, I wouldn't bet on it either. Yeah, you said you wouldn't bet on it. Yeah, I wouldn't bet on that either. Okay, yeah. In chat saying, no, uh, we'll probably just come back as a 2 2. And that's really too bad, because that would be awesome if we could reset that. Alright, now we're going to keep on having. Yeah, then Viego's just going to own this game. Yeah, like that's just how it is. They're just pretty dead. We got like the two big fearsome things. There is only darkness. They did. GG's. Alright, so unfortunately we didn't get to pull off the Iceborne Legacy Shark Chariot combo, which is, you know, kind of the what we were gonna do. Game number four there, at the end of the game, I was about to cast that Iceborne Legacy on the Shark Chariot. I waited for that to be the last thing I did during the round so they could spend other mana and, you know, hopefully not have a removal spell for the Shark Chariot. That that's what I was, you know, I was waiting on that. Uh, to do and I was about to do it but then they just conceded and so we didn't get to pull it off but I think that we, that what really looked good was Mask Mother plus Scourge plus Viego that looked really good uh you know like just like those three together and Viego in general Viego is amazing and we have a lot of ways to like kill our own things and have a bunch of ephemeral things with Viego uh those those definitely looked really good Oblivious Islander looked great with that combo also right Islander making Scourge cost less so then it was so then we got to do it faster with the Scourge Mask Mother combo. Um, that was even better. But there we go. So that, those are some things to think about if you're, you know, just a Viego player. Um, maybe that's a, a combo to kind of consider. Oblivious Islander, Mask Mother, Dark Water Scourge, Stalking Shadows. You know, all that kind of stuff to go along. Even Chronicler of Ruin to go along with Viego. All right, but that's going to be it for this one for some Iceborne Sharks. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and feel free to leave those comments. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the deck, even though we didn't quite get to uh, live the dream with putting the legacy on the Sharks. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.